Hey everyone, thank you so much for checking out another one of my videos. My name is Miranda and I've been trying to create some videos to show how I use the Noteful app for digital planning. So I usually start these videos off with a warning to keep your expectations low because let's be real, I am not great at this whole video thing. But at this point, if you've watched my other three videos, you know exactly what you're in for. So thank you for sticking with me. And with that glowing intro, let's get started. Um, before we jump into today's topic, I just wanted to update something I said in my last video about transferring your stickers over. Let me just go to a blank page here. And I am just gonna open up my files. All right, I'm gonna go into my stickers really quick. Okay, so in my last video, I was talking about how I just like to pull my stickers over one at a time when I'm transferring them into my stickers notebook or my stickers, yeah, my stickers book. Um, because I said that when I tried, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, when I tried to select multiple stickers and pull them over, it never works for me. So you can see if I select here, I'm just gonna select these six stickers. When I pull them over, it just doesn't work. It just pulls over like the first two or three. It just, it doesn't pull them all over. Um, but someone in the comments let me know that you can actually pull multiple stickers over at the same time. You just have to select them, tap down here and hit copy and then paste them into your sticker book. And it works perfectly every time. So I'm sorry, I hope I didn't cause too much confusion with that. So you definitely can copy multiple stickers over into your sticker book at a time. You just have to do it the copy and paste way. <laughs> all right, so now that we have that all cleared up, um, let me go back to my January here and we can get into today's video, which is talking about links. All right, so a while ago when I was still using GoodNotes, I remember when they added the ability to create internal links. People were so excited, but I just didn't get it. Why would I care about adding links? My planner already has links. And even after I switched to Noteful, I remember that was kind of a big deal where a lot of people didn't want to switch over to Noteful because it didn't have the ability to add internal links. Oh, if I can talk internal links yet. But honestly, it just wasn't something that bothered me because I wasn't even using them. But once Noteful added the feature, I started to play around with it. And wow, it is awesome. It turns out links are really fun to use and it's definitely become one of my favorite features in Noteful. I do know I say that a lot. Noteful has a lot of my favorite features. <laughs> um, and I know that in these videos I kind of bash GoodNotes a lot. I don't mean to do that. I really do love GoodNotes. It's a great app. It's the first app I ever used that really made me start loving digital planning. Um, I think it just all depends on how you're using it. So as my planning style changed a little bit, GoodNotes just started to feel a little more frustrating for me. So that's why I switched to Noteful and it's been perfect for me. I've never wanted to go back, but I completely understand why so many people love GoodNotes. But with that being said, I do think the linking feature is so much better in Noteful. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add links and then I'm gonna share my favorite ways to use them in my planner. Hopefully this just gives you some ideas for what's possible. And if you've got other creative ways to use links, please let me know in the comments. I always love to get new ideas. All right, so I'm gonna go to a blank page just so I can show you how links work. Okay. So I can hit my text tool here and I am just gonna write, this is my link. All right, all right, perfect. So now I've got some text here. Let me zoom in on that. So I wanna add a link to this text. So I'm just gonna tap on it and right here you can see this little toolbar pops up and I can hit link. So I have some options when I'm linking. I can link to a web page or I can link to a notebook and it can be any notebook inside my Noteful, um, the Noteful app. You can't link to GoodNotes documents. I think it's just limited to Noteful documents. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and link this to a notebook and then I just tap on notebook and then I'm gonna hit my notebooks here and pick the notebook I want to put a link in. I think I'm gonna go with my stickers book and then I can pick a page in that document that I want to link to. So I am just going to pick this one right here. All right. So now I have a link in this text and you'll notice that it doesn't underline it. It doesn't change the way it looks at all. This is kind of a problem with GoodNotes. 
when you add a link to text in GoodNotes, it push, puts this dashed underline underneath it and you can't remove it. And I know a lot of people have workarounds for it, like they'll cover it with a screenshot or um, there's some trick with a space bar. I don't, I don't really know. It's been a while since I tried to play with it. But for me, this is just so much simpler. If I want to put a dashed line under it, I can. I can change the color of the text. I can do anything I want. But I like that I have the option just not to do anything, just to have it look like my original text. Sorry, I hope I'm explaining that good. <laughs> All right, also, um, I'm gonna go into my stickers tool here. And I'm just gonna go into, I'm just gonna grab a number. So I can add any image. It can be a picture, a sticker, any image, but you'll see here, I can also add a link to images. I can do the same thing, link it to a notebook or link it to a web page. So I love that and you cannot do that in GoodNotes. Um, and then let me just grab a shape here and you'll see that I can add any shape and I have the option to add a link to that shape also. So within Noteful, you could add links to, I think, pretty much anything. And I know you cannot do that in GoodNotes. You can only add link to text and it underlines it. So that's why I think Noteful's linking system is just so much better. I love using it. All right, so now that you know how to put a link in, let's talk about just my favorite ways to use it. Um, so for that, I'm gonna go into my weekly page. This is the week that I'm getting set up for, um, I think it's the second week in January. The dates maybe, well, the dates on here are right. Um, if you look, compare it to my monthly, the dates are wrong. I'm kind of using my old planner just as a demo planner. <laughs> so this is not a real week. I'm not this busy, but I just wanted it to look I don't know, kind of full and pretty. So, <laughs> all right. So this is how the setup in my planner came. And you'll notice that right here, these all have links in them. So if I tap on this 14, it's going to jump me to that daily page on the 14th. But I love redoing my weekly pages. And by doing that, I cover up all of the links. So they're not really useful to me anymore when I, when I create my own pages. But I can fix that. So you'll see this five right here is an image, but if it was text, it would work the same way. So I'm just gonna tap on this five and then I'm gonna hit the link button here. So I wanna link that to a notebook and I wanna link it to this notebook. So now I'm just gonna pick a page. So here is that daily page that I wanna link to. So I'm just gonna tap on it. Oh, that was actually, that's not the right one. Let me try that again. That was the weekly page. Okay, here is the daily page that I wanna link to. So now I've linked it. So now you'll see that if I tap on that link, it's gonna jump me to that daily page. And I love this because it still lets me um, get creative and customize my weeks just how I want them, but still be able to use um, the, the link feature to jump around within my planner. I just have to add my own link. And I, it's just, I love it. It's so fun to use. All right, let me go back to that week. Oops, all right. Also, if you guys watched my last video, you know that I like to plan my dinners on my weekly page. It just helps me so much seeing who's gonna be home that night or if we're going out to eat. Um, so I really, I love planning my dinners here. And now with links, I can type in my dinner. Or I can write it in with a um, text. And then, let me go to my web page here. Okay, this is the web page I use a lot for planning dinners. I love it so much. If you guys have never checked it out, you should. It's called Tastes Better From Scratch, but she's awesome. She does like full meal plans and her recipes are always really good. Um, but this is the recipe I want for that day. So I'm just gonna tap up here and I'm gonna copy this URL address. So I'm gonna hit copy. All right, then I'm gonna go back into my planner and I'm just gonna tap on the text here and hit link and I am gonna link to a web page. All right, and then right here, I am just going to paste um, that URL that I copied. All right, so now this dinner is linked. So if I tap on it, you can see it just jumps me right into my recipe. So that's just, I love that. It just makes it so much easier to find my recipes. All right, and then the other way I use it, let me go back into this. Okay, so I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but in my planner, I love using the daily pages as a journal kind of scrapbook. 
um, this isn't a real journal. <laughs> this is just, this is a song that I had stuck in my head all that day. So I just decided to use the words um, of the song. So maybe you guys can figure it out. It's a great song. But, um, but this is where I would usually like journal about my day or just write anything I was thinking of. So lately I've just been listening to a lot of podcasts. I listen to them when I'm cleaning the house or driving to work, whatever. I love podcasts. And I used to listen to news podcasts a lot, but <laughs> um, but they were making me feel kind of anxious. And so I kind of switched that. Now I'm just trying to listen to just happy, uplifting, make me feel good podcasts. So if I'm listening to a podcast, let me just go here. Let me get back. So um, this is the Jay Shetty podcast. I love his podcasts. They're always, they're just fun to listen to. But if I'm listening to this podcast and he has, says something or there's a quote that I really love, I can go into these little three dots here and then I can tap on view transcript and I can find that quote in the transcript. So say I loved this quote. I can just copy it and then go back into my planner and I'm just going to go to a blank page just so I can show you. So I'll paste it in my planner and then you can see that it pastes it. It tells you which, um, which show it's from, what podcast, and it gives you a link. So I like to copy this link. Let me see if I can get it copied. All right. So I'll copy the link and then I will just erase the rest of this because I don't need it. Okay. And now I can like change the font and just make this look a lot better, but I can also just hit link and then I want it to link to a web page. And then right here, I'm just going to paste that URL address. And now if I tap on it, it is going to link me back to that episode in the podcast I was listening to. So let me show you on my journal page. That's what I usually do is I'll put a quote or something that I've read and look, I can tap on it and it jumps me back to whatever podcast I was listening to. And this works with anything. Like if you're reading an article and you want to pull a quote from it, you can link to that article. If you're listening to a song and you're pulling a quote from a song, you can link it to that song. Anything that has a URL address, you can link to. So I love doing that. Another way I like to use links is I like to take pictures and add them to my, my journal. Um, and a lot of times when I take pictures, I'll also do a video, but you can't add videos to your planner. So a good way that I found to kind of link your pictures in your planner to your video is, let me go into a video here. Okay, this is just in my Google Photos. Oops. And then this is just oops a video of a planner video I was messing around with. So I can hit the share button down here and I can tap share to and create a link. All right, so then create a link. So now it created a link and it copied it. So I'm gonna go back into my planner. And so I could just add that link straight to this picture, but I might forget that I have a link there. I'd forget that this picture has a video that also goes along with it. So I like to just find an icon like this one that just looks like a little play button. So I can just tap on that icon icon, oh, and hit link and I'm gonna link to a web page. And then right here, oops, I think I already had a link in there when I was messing around with it. So I'm gonna remove that link. Okay, so then I can tap on it and add link. I wanna to add to link to a web page. So I'm just gonna paste that URL here. And now you can see when I tap on that, it takes me straight into that video that is associated with the picture. So I just think it, it's so much fun to use. And this year, my favorite planner that I've ever used is the Minimalist Planner from Breezy Organization. But this year, they didn't make a new Minimalist Planner. She made a lot of other amazing planners, and I really do like the new one. Um, I wonder if I have it on here. Let me grab it. Okay, so this is her new one. I love it. It's a great planner, but it has all these tabs along the sides that I just don't think that I will use very often. And for some reason, it's probably just me, but... It will bother me <laughs> to see these every time I open my planner and not be using them. That's why I love the minimalist planner so much because it just has um, the monthly tabs along the side. But there were a lot of things that I really loved about this new planner that I wanted to try. So I bought the new planner and I am gonna going to, I don't know, is it called Franken planning where you kind of combine two planners into one? <laughs> so I've been kind of messing around with that this year, um, just kind of combining the two planners. And because I can do those internal links, I can do that. So I can buy a planner and even if it's not the perfect planner for me, 
I can change it and still and add new pages to it and still have the ability to use links. So it, there's just so many possibilities. I won't get into that too much because it, it was a process and it would, I mean, that could be a whole other video because it took me some time, but I like doing that kind of stuff. Like I just turn on a good podcast and then I kind of like playing around in my planner. So I didn't mind it, but, um, but there are just so many possibilities. So I hope this gives you some good ideas. And like I said, if there's an another way that you use links, please let me know in the comments. I really love getting new ideas of how to use things in my planner because I am not an expert and oh, everybody, you guys are all so creative. Um, but I hope this at least just gave you some good ideas to start with and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much.